In JavaScript, we can declare a dictionary like this. This basically became JSON standard because it is convenient, easy to read and write. Common Lisp has built-in support for Hashtable using a syntax like this, in which make Hashtable create the Hashtable and then with Getash you can read and write keys. Is it good enough? Absolutely not. This is a low-level primitive, but we have macros and so it's really simple to improve the syntax. Hash tables, also known as dictionaries, are everywhere in real-world projects. Many languages use dictionaries to represent objects. In common lisp, we have the more structured clause, but the usage of dictionary is quite common. For example, in the web environment, the most common usage is for import and export JSON objects. But this is not the only usage. Algorithms often need mapping from an arbitrary set not just integer for which we could use vectors. A common library to parse JSON object is JSON, and we could also use it to create dictionary literals like this. Let's create a new package in which we load JSON. We can see that now person contains an hash table with exactly three elements. This is surely more convenient than using make hash table and get hash, but we could do even better. Alexandria is the most common util library for common Lisp. It has a feature. It is minimal and it contains only essential utilities. It is portable and it does not contain functionalities provided by other common used packages. Nevertheless, it contains a lot of functions useful for working with dictionaries, and in particular we can already improve the syntax for dictionary literals using a list hash table. An a list in common Lisp is a mapping based on lists. It is a list of consists. The first is the key and the rest is the value. It is useful when you want to build small lookup tables, but uh, if the size grows, uh, the performance free degrades because uh, every lookup takes a linear amount of time. We can use a list hash table as a dictionary literal. We have to import Alexandria. And then we can use it. As usual, we have created a hash table with three elements. Alexandria also provides other useful functions, like hash table a list, which is the opposite and can be used as a pretty print. In general, common Lisp just shows the name of the object, and if we want to look inside it, we have to use the inspector of die, for example. But one could also use a stable a list and it allows you to inspect the key and values stored inside. A stable keys is again useful to get the list of keys. And sure get hash is like get hash but allows us to provide the default value if the key does not exist. Alexander is an interesting project but uh, as we said, it's uh, really minimalistic. Based on it, is born the Serapeon project, which adds again a lot of function for dealing with dictionaries, and in particular, there is the dict construct. In the previous example, since we are using string L keys, we had always to specify the comparison function. Dict already sets the correct default. We have to include Serapeum. Alexandria Serapeum are built to be used inside the global environment. So even if we put them inside the user, we should not have any conflict with the standard library. But I prefer to have them in their own namespace. We can see that it builds the usual table with test equal and free elements. From the function provided by Serapeum, it's interesting toggle pretty print hash table that override the default output for dictionaries. 
instead of the name, it prints the content. It's also interesting, the href function, which can also be written as at, that allows reading from keys. If we add nested dictionaries, we could use at and provide all the path. In this case, best known for is an array, and so we can't index it the same way because uh, it only supports hash tables. If you use a lot common Lisp, I suggest you look at those libraries. The main issue of Serapeum is that it is quite fat, and we still need some specialized libraries for specific tasks. The RUTIS package is a small UTIS library that provides a lot of useful utilities for a variety of tasks. In particular, some deals with hash tables. Let's import RUTIS and enable the custom syntax. From now on, we can declare dictionary using the sharp h macro. We can see that uh, this is different from the previous uh, approach. This macro does not follow the usual syntax using a parenthesis. What is used is a reader macro. A reader macro allows the software developer to change the syntax of common Lisp. In particular, it was changed what happens when we write sharp h. We still have the pretty print enabled, but we can see that this is the usual dictionary we declared above. Again, we have a lot of useful functions, and in particular, we can enable toggle pretty print hash table. This is similar to what we got previously with Serapeum. The idea is that if I'm using Ariotils, I don't use Serapeum and other specific libraries. So if I don't have Serapeum, I can enable a pretty print of hash table using toggle pretty print hash table. And now if I show person, I can see that it uses a custom syntax. The sharp braces is the same as the sharp h parentheses. In this video, we've introduced some really common libraries in the common Lisp world. It's really worth exploring them if you need to write some serious program using Lisp. The fact that Lisp is a fixed standard doesn't mean that the language is dead and has stopped evolving. It just means that all the libraries that are based on the standard Lisp will go on working as long as there is an implementation of the standard. This video wanted to be an introduction, so I used string as keys, but uh, it's really common to use keywords instead. Nevertheless, the comparison of string and keywords has to wait for another video. Let me know in the comments if you like the video, leave a like and subscribe.